Good morning, YouTubers. It's Holly from Asadid Orchids. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'd like to share with you a few of my new blooms and a few soon-to-be blooms. Let's come down here and share, first off, this little beauty. This is SLC World Vacation 5th Avenue. Look at the markings on the leaves. Very pretty, very mottled, artsy looking. When this first came out into bloom, I'm gonna tell you, I was not impressed. I told my husband, that orchid is finding a new home. I have too many orchids to have something here that I am not in love with. But as the days went on, the color deepened. And it, it's really pretty. It has a, a light scent. It's not one you're going to get because you want a scent. But it has be three beautiful blooms. Another sheath starting to fill out, yay. And down below, there is an old sheath that seems to have a little something going on. It's hard to say at this point. Beautiful little plant. You can see the size difference in those two cats. These are the ones I should have for the size restriction. These are the ones, the heart ones. The big blousy blooms. Now over here, we have a little sweet scent. And not in bloom, just budding out, but I wanted to show it to you because it's doing something I've not had happen with an orchid yet. Sitting in my eastern window, soaking up the warmth, it is emitting its scent pre-bloom. You can smell raspberries. Which I find wonderful, but yet yeah, slightly odd. I've never had an orchid emit the scent till, you know, a day or two after they've fully opened up. I have a library upcoming talk on orchids this fall, this coming Wednesday, and I'm hoping she's in full bloom. Lots of nice buds. Now the buds you're seeing here in the blooms, I'm not responsible for, I'm just gonna tell you. These came from Carmela. Sheldon shipped these for me in a box, and they, they were all in bud and bloom, so I can't, I can't say, ooh, look what I did, no. I can show you the blooms. Look at this Zygonesia. Rockfort, or rock rune, sorry. They look like little birds coming in for a landing. Beautiful, beautiful plant, lightly scented, nothing heavy. Just, it's a nice change from the deep purple that you normally get with the, zy with the Zygopetalum family. Very pretty. This lives in Spanish moss. Sphagnum, not Spanish, good heavens. Sphagnum moss, and it will remain in that just because they do like their water. Now over here is the showstopper for my upcoming orchid talk. This is Amy Wasugi. Look at that nice little, like a white little beak there in the center. Heavily, heavily scented. Smells amazing. This room, when you enter it, you walk in, you know she's in here. And this is a good size room. Very beautiful plant, but like I said, look at the size. From this cat to this cat. But it is beautiful. I mean, orangey, the camera doesn't quite do it justice. Very beautiful. Now when the cats are done blooming, they will move upstairs to a southern exposure window. That's where all my cat ladies live in Avanda. Just so they get a little more sunlight. Now over here is a Francine Burr Rose Glow. Also from Carmella. Getting ready to open. I'm not sure if I will have these open for my Orchid Talk on Wednesday. I am hoping. Possibility. She is supposed to be closely related to Francis Fox, which I have yet to find. Two nice spikes. And it will live, it'll stay downstairs here permanently in my, in my grow space area and it will live in an eastern window. Anything in the Oncidium, Zygonesia, Pathia Petalum, Phragmopedium area, they will all, they all stay in my eastern windows. Look at that sun just hitting these. Finally gonna have some nice weather here in Ohio. We're gonna start out with, believe it or not, snow tomorrow morning. 
71 in the afternoon. Welcome to Ohio. You almost have to dress for three seasons in one day when you live here. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you just ignore my mess scanning around, it's my morning coffee. That's where I sit to have coffee. Here is a few blooms, are a few blooms hanging on. I'll show you some of my blooms. This one is sadly on the way out, the hieroglyphia. Beautiful markings on this one. And as always, Sologeny Udasana, she's going to make an appearance in almost every single video because she doesn't stop. My Fias, look at the sun coming through hitting her. Very pretty. When she's done blooming, she will be repotted because she's, she's really filling in. See the new growth? She's filling in her pot quite nicely. And oh, I'm going to scan around. Here is my dendrobium. It's a spider lily. Very closely related to the chocolate chip everybody's talking about now and then, now, nowadays. And I do have that also, but it's in the other room. We're not going to wander clear in there. Beautiful. This one has been in bloom for ages. And a few African violets thrown in. And my beautiful little beta, who's going to hide down there. She's mad I didn't feed, or he's mad because he didn't get his little treats today while I was having my coffee. We normally have coffee and treats together. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all coming to watch my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Have a blessed day. Thank you.